today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the NFC Championship game. The Carolina Panthers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a potential classic in store, as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special team running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. to Pollard on second down. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. As you see, they have dealt with their fair share of injuries this season, but uh, Charles, that hasn't stopped them from putting together a very solid campaign, a very good record thus far. I think a lot of credit has to go internally. Look, we always want to praise the head coach for holding the team together, but to me, it's the guys in the locker room putting on the uniform. Those starters who've stayed healthy, they've welcomed the backups into their ranks and showed them how to get it done. And this team, they've stayed afloat all season doing just that. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. Prescott down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll give to Pollard. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and eight. Now a first carry for their fullback. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Prescott. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. 
And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. So here are the Panthers banked up to start their initial drive. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. And we talked about it last week, the pressure of not just playing in the playoffs, but now in the championship game as they try to close out a perfect 19-0 season. Of all the games they've played, though, this year, this is far and away the toughest one. If they find a way to win it, guess what the next one will be? The toughest one they played. That's what happens when you have a perfect record on the line. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first place sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. They'll run. It's Kenneth Walker. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. Third and nine here. Looking to throw. Green. Short throw there. Caught by Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Cavante Turpin deep for the Cowboys. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll try and run with their fullback. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Here's Prescott. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. After the incompletion, here now third and two. Off the play fake, Prescott. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And this will do the job nicely as that'll be out of bounds just inside the 10 yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Here's Walker to start the drive. Nice move on the play, but he will be brought down shy of the 15. This second and four. Thielen going to go in motion right. And they'll fake the jet sweep and go instead with Walker. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Good opening quarter for him. Remember, he had the sack earlier. Now a tackle for loss, another tackle for loss. He's really making it tough on the play caller, though, isn't he? Because it's one thing to try and adjust when a guy is disrupting your running game. But when he's messing up your passing game as well, they may have to devote at least a second guy to him to try and keep him away from their plays. 
Green now to throw on third down. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. to the big man Walker. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Uh, it's been a long season, but he still looks fresh running the football. He knows his guys are one game away from the Super Bowl, so he's gonna give it all he's got. And that's a heck of a run right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's going to be caught downfield by Chark. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 23 yards on the play. A nice throw there. And this is a quarterback, you remember, looking to do what no other rookie has done, and that's lead his team into the Super Bowl. And now you've made me go back down memory lane a little bit because we have had a few guys come close. Think about Patrick Mahomes in 2018. Second year in the league, but his first as a full-time starter. I go back to 2000 with the Vikings and Dante Culpepper. Also his first year as a starter. But this would be something I think would be very noteworthy. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they've got it with second down and less than a yard. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 15-yard line. to throw green walker with a grab left side and he'll be out of bounds taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. second down and six now now to the ground here's walker and this time he's not going anywhere they'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage third down. Touchdown! D.J. Chark an 11-yard touchdown. And the Panthers have struck first in this NFC title game. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And he returns this to the 22. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Now Prescott. Over the middle complete. That's Ferguson. 
And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. And that's complete to Cooks. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. Prescott to throw it. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now Dak on the option left. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Looking to throw. Prescott. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. To throw is Prescott. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 28. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Gallup in motion right. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Down right around the 25. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Now Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 12-yard line. Back to throw here. On the left side, Gallup's got it. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And a quick throw here, that's complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. Heavy set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. 
So as they talk it over, we step aside. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it, and they'll start here with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Green. Oh, spinning away. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Green. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Operating from the gun, Green, and Walker with it over the middle. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Green from the gun on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. 19 yards that time for number 19. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Drain down, throwing on first down. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. And they are into field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. What half remains in the battle to see who will take home that George Hallis Trophy and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, time to look ahead to the AFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts doing battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth, Brandon God and Charles Davis. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? 
Absolutely, I would agree because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. And that's the kind of run you get when you know Super Bowl birth is in sight. They've got the lead. It's the second half. All those weeks of wear and tear in your body just go away. He's running with purpose now. And that's a heck of a run. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Again, it's Walker, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now here's a throw that's complete. Now third down is looming, a pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Back to throw, Green. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football, hoping to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their mind. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And that, oh, nearly picked off. It would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Prescott off play action. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think of a play like this as a corner. You've got to think to yourself, all i got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Tough spot here, third down and 11. He'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. Well, the three points certainly helps, but you feel like, Charles, at this stage of the game, when you force those turnovers, 
need to start converting them into touchdowns. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised myself because I thought in this situation they were thinking end zone or bust. Now they got to rely on their defense get the ball back again for another opportunity to get six points. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot, he had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Green. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. Looking to throw. Green. This one goes underneath to Walker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now Green. On first and ten, throw left side on target to Thielen. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there and end up making the play. throw again. Open man once again. It's Thielen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Back to throw. Green. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Looking to throw. Green. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they want to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Now here's Green on first down. Open man is chase complete. Second and a couple. Operating from the gun. Green. Flushed out right. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. 
Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. One quarter remains for the right to go on to the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Walker, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Operating from the gun, Green toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Third and goal here, a big play brewing in this NFC title game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He completes this to Walker. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. Boy, were they aggressive on that one. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. They bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. On a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team, as you just noted, on the road. So that means they've carried that mentality with them throughout. Hey, we've got to go on the road. We've got to rely on ourselves, right? Focus, yet still find the fun in it. How great is this, guys? Look at the spot we're in right now. And then go to your top players, call the plays that they run best. Yeah, sort of controlling their own destiny, but this place has been loud. Not going to be easy. On second down, Prescott again. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Prescott from the gun on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He'll drop to throw. That's Gallup on the slant. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll drop the throw. The short one there taken in by Ferguson.
From the 44 now, here's second and four. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. On first and 10, Prescott. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They've definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. On second down, it's Pollard. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll set up a throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on set. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here now in the fourth quarter of this championship game. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that one, a 13-play drive in total, and it's capped off with a Cowboys touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. This will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So now the Panthers down by a field goal. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. A field goal sends this championship game to overtime as they've got a first and 10. To throw is green. Throwing to start the drive. Short throw to the tight end, Thomas. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Operating from the gun. Green, throw out wide to Walker. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now second and four. He'll look to throw. Finding room at midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. 
He's got this down to the 35. He's back to throw. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Here's first down. Rolling to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Here we go, first and goal. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. They'll look to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. A partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now it's the Cowboys' turn, trailing by four. A little over 30 seconds remaining. A field goal won't help. They need a touchdown to send them to the Super Bowl as they've got it first and 10. Here's Dak. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Looking middle, and that's complete. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. To throw, Prescott. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it. And that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 40. And they get to hoist the Hallis Trophy. Unbelievable victory. Moving on to the Super Bowl. I only hope that these players understand exactly who is behind that trophy. George S. Hallis, one of the creators of this great game of football of ours and creator of the NFL. What an amazing feeling and an amazing accomplishment. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.